Hey everyone, I want to try and do a fairly short video here spotlighting these brand new remastered DVD Blu-ray releases of a kind of undersung horror vampire franchise from the 90s and everything. It comes with us from Full Moon Features, the subspecies franchise featuring what I consider is one of the absolute best vampires in all cinematic history, Radu Vaslas, portrayed by Anders Hove. Now, the films were originally released uh, quite a while ago. I bought this, this is a 2005 Australian import DVD set that used the VHS masters. So they're good for VHS, but on DVD, they, they're, they're brightened up, they're full frame. They're not the absolute best presentation that subspecies could have had, but on this set, you got the whole, the whole franchise. You got the first film, you got the three sequels, then you got this sort of a uh, spin-off film called Vampire Journals, which I haven't seen yet. I heard some mixed things about it, but it ties into the subspecies for Bloodstorm and everything. So you, you got, it was a nice set and everything, which I paid 80 bucks for, what you expect for an Australian import back in 2005. But uh, for the 20th anniversary of subspecies, Full Moon Direct has gone ahead and they went ahead and did a full digital remaster of the original film, white screen, looks, looks like a fantastic film-like presentation. Blacks are nice and deep and rich. Uh, it has a muted color scheme, but it still looks really sharp. Looks really good. I think it, I, on DVD it definitely looks very good. I don't have Blu-ray, but from the DVD itself it looks fantastic. Now the Blu-ray does have all the features and everything. On the DVD it just has kind of an old archival featurette from the 90s and everything. So you don't get much with the DVD set. But if you're if you are a fan of subspecies or if you're just looking to get into uh, get a taste of it. Definitely check out the DVD. It's a, I think it's a very good buy. I think it's a very good choice. Now, that was about two years ago, and there are sequels, like I said. So it's a whole franchise. So, Full Moon Direct has gone ahead and done full digital remasters on Bloodstone Subspecies Two and Bloodlust Subspecies Three, and they look fantastic. Because uh, I think uh, when they're shooting these films, when they're making these films, I think they put a little more money into them. Uh, second and third films were shot back to back as sort of a two part story and whatnot. When you watch uh, part two, the second film, it kind of leaves you in, in sort of a halfway point, more or less. It, it gives you kind of a halfway point feel to the whole film. So you know, the two films are meant to be seen as a whole, and I think they put a lot more money into doing these films, so that really shows in, this, in the film and everything. Uh, production value is a little higher. You got a little bit more. Uh, better cinematography, the lighting's a lot dark, a lot, lot more uh, cinematic and everything. It just looks like they put a little bit more money, a little more effort into it. Because the first film, it's, the first film's pretty good, but it's a little more basic as a vampire story. Set in Romania, shot in Romania. It looks fantastic. It's got that European flair and everything. But uh, it, it, you got uh, Angus Scrim even does a cameo in the first film as Radu's father, the king, and everything. It's right in the first scene of the film. So you get a little bit of Angus Scrim there from the Phantasm series. But uh, the first film is pretty basic about an American coming to Romania. Kind of a student trip and everything, stuff like that. And she gets, they get pulled into this whole thing between Radu and his, who is very, very ghoulish. And who, uh, he, his father was a vampire, but also his mother was a witch. So that's why he has this ghoulish figure and everything while his brother Stefan is a much more suave normal looking guy who's kind of very handsome gentleman and everything and so the you know, character of Michelle and her friends get pulled into this sort of thing between Stefan and Radu and everything over this bloodstone which is supposed to give vampires this enhanced power and everything kind of make them this ultimate sort of vampire thing and everything so it's uh the first film was pretty basic but it sets the, sets the groundwork and whatnot the second and third films really kind of build on top of it they allow you to go into much more expansive universe and everything just uh, expand the characters expand the story go in a really much more interesting and fascinating direction and everything the dvds for the second and third films do have all the same features as the blu-ray discs and you can buy them as either separate films on DVD and Blu-ray or you can buy this sort of trilogy pack you get all three the first three films I do believe Full Moon is attained to do a full remaster on Subspecies 4 I probably I imagine that comes in about sometime the next year or whatnot so we'll look I'll be looking forward to that and uh, these are some really solid films I think they're really entertaining they got some they're maybe not don't all appeal to a modern audience or whatnot with a slower pacing 
and more focus on atmosphere and mood and stuff like that, but I think it's really, really good vampire films that don't get too chaotic. They get, they're really establishing mood and story and everything like that. And it's, I think it's really nicely written and everything. And Ted Nicolau, who's the director of this series, he does a really great job of just uh, crafting this whole universe and everything. And uh, the second and third films have audio commentaries from, Nick, from Ted Nicolau, Honest Hove, and Denise Duff, who is uh, the female lead of the sequels and everything. So I really highly endorse these films. I think you really should check them out if you're really interested in them. If you're looking for some kind of classic styled vampire films or whatnot, I think you can't go wrong with Subspecies. I think they're really worth checking out. And you can go to fullmoondirect.com, check them out, see if you're interested in buying them. You can check out some trailers around here. Down in the description, you can see all my reviews of all three films. You get a couple of the links down there, too. So, uh, thanks for checking things out. We do have a Forever Cinematic Facebook and Twitter account, so you can hit those links below if you want to get caught up in everything that's happening with the written reviews, the trailers, all this kind of stuff that I keep posting. Those are the nexuses of Forever Cinematic. So, check them out. Thanks for watching, and uh, I love subspecies. Later.